there's a walkout because of the death of next uh, Benedict, who, by the way, uh, could have been protected by those in authority, but was not. Uh, I'm going to go to this footage first and give you the background. Here it is. What happened today? I got jumped. They came at me. They grabbed out of my hair. I grabbed onto them. I mean, got me on the ground, started beating the me. Newly released school surveillance cameras show Benedict in the cafeteria with classmates, then walking into a bathroom where Benedict says a fight broke out. They had said something like, why do they laugh like that? And, and mm-hmm. they were talking about us in front of us. Mm-hmm. And so I went up there and I poured water on them. Okay. And then all three of them came at me. Shortly after, a faculty member rushes into the bathroom. Later, Benedict is seen walking to the principal's office and then out of the school, escorted by their mom. The next day, Nexus' mom calling 911, telling dispatchers Nexus having trouble breathing. I love the picture. Per NBC News, Owasa, Oklahoma, at least 40 students at the high school walked out Monday. The protest, what they described as a pervasive culture of bullying with little accountability. These are the children showing adults what they should do as adults. The non-binary student who died on February 8th, a day after being jumped in a bathroom on the school's West Campus. Per updated reports, friends of Nick says he preferred he, him pronouns, which he used at school. He also used they, them pronouns, which his family used. Initial reports also mistakenly identified him as a member of the Cherokee Nation. Um, Sue Benedict, Nick's mother, later clarified per the independent, their heritage traces back to the Choctaw Nation. Per the body cam footage from police officers, um, you see the interview with Nix, he described how three students jumped him after he threw ward on them because they were bullying him and his friend over the way they dressed. Nix's mother, Sue Benedict, previously told the independent Nix faced bullying due to his gender identity. In the video, the officer can be heard telling Nix and his mother uh, and his mother Nix could be found to be at fault for the incident as He started it. The officer also dismisses the bullying, saying that, uh, quote, freedom of speech means that you can say mean, hurtful things all day long, and you got to let it roll off your shoulders. He also said that if Nick had not poured the water on one of the girls, he would have been a true victim of an assault and battery, end quote. Let me give you background on what we know about the attack. February 7th, 2024, a Benedict and another transgender student were involved in what Owasa Public Schools OPS called a physical altercation. In a statement, Sue Benedict told the independent that during the fight, Benedict was attacked by three older girls, beaten so badly that bruises formed around his eyes and hit his head against the bathroom floor. An anonymous tipster. Who claimed to be the other victim's mother told local news station KJRH that at one point, one of the girls was pretty much repeatedly beating his head across the floor. The tipster added, Nix couldn't walk to the nurse's station on his own, and staff did not call the ambulance, which amazes me. In the body camera footage, when the police officer asked Nix if he ever reported the bullying to the school, Nix said, quote, I didn't really see the point in it. A lot of students told NBC News that Nexus answer is common among their classmates. LGBTQ students and others who face bullying due to their identities feel like when they report the bullying to the school, they either aren't believed or nothing really changes. Put them up. 
Owasa Public Schools Assistant Director of Communications, Brock Crawford, says students attend an assembly at the beginning of each school year. That includes the processes and procedures that they should follow to report bullying or other safety concerns. All reports are investigated by their respective school administrators and then reviewed by the district's director of safety and security. End quote. Uh, the district student conduct code prohibits bullying, which includes a pattern of harassment, intimidation, threatening behavior, physical acts, verbal or electronic communication directed toward a student or group of students that results in or is reasonably perceived as being part of the intent to cause negative educational or physical results for the targeted individual or group. And is communicated in a way that would disrupt the school's educational mission. Owasa Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Margaret Coates and the high school principal Tiffany Cooper, in order to meet the definition, policy states a reasonable person should recognize whether such actions would harm another student, damage another student's property, place another student in reasonable fear or harm to the student's property or insult or demean any student or group of students. Keep the pictures up. What that policy is basically saying is contrary to what the communications director has said. Communications director says, well, it's up to the students to follow the protocol for reporting. However, the policy says it's up to the educators, the administrators, the faculty to recognize them. What is the status now of the investigation death? On February 21st, Owasa Police Department released a statement saying that while the investigation and reports are still ongoing, quote, preliminary information from the medical examiner's office is that a complete autopsy was performed and indicated that the descendant did not die as a result of trauma, end quote. OPD declined further comment until toxicology and other testing results are obtained, writing only that the full autopsy report will be available at a later date. Those reports can often take up to six weeks. Understand the fix is in. This is why they are slow releasing information that benefits a narrative that they tried to paint from the beginning. Nothing happened here, nothing to see is freedom of speech is on you, you caused this trouble on yourself, etc. The independent journalist and Think Progress founder, Judd Lingham, criticized the OPD statement on X the following day. Quote, if the police will not release the autopsy report, why are they releasing partial paraphrased information? Noting that the OPD statement was phrased almost identically to the OPA, OPS statement issued the day before, prior to any autopsy information. According to new data from the Rainbow Youth Project, an Indiana based nonprofit that provides LGBTQ mental health uh, plus mental health. Crisis counseling via the national 988 hotline. The crisis hotline reported that calls from Oklahoma had increased 300% after Benedict's death. RYP told KFOR this week they received 349 calls from Oklahoma between February 16th and 20th. Prior to Benedict's death, the hotline only received an average of 87 calls per week from the state, 69% who called said they were specifically experiencing the stress about Benedict's death. 85% said they are also experiencing bullying at school online. 79% feared for their physical safety. More than 10% were students or parents of students at that same high school, Owasa. Um, let's keep that picture up. You see, that is a human being. If you're a person of faith or spiritual individual, you also know that this is a soul or a spirit. I don't understand how people can equivocate their disdain for a lifestyle or a personal decision to death. 
I don't understand this. Um, no one in authority is treating this with the level of seriousness it deserves. I mean, you're teaching children it's okay to become killers. What the hell? Sharon, you know, it's one of the sad stories I've seen this year. What say you? Can't look at that sweet face. None of this had to happen. Angry, disgusted, unempathetic adults are to blame. Not the non binary student, as the officer was blaming, as the school district and everybody else is blaming. Dr. Michael Bodden, Dr. Spitz, someone needs to get on this case and do another autopsy here and never let it go, okay? They're teaching hate. And I believe if they were empathetic to this beautiful student, this wouldn't have happened. Right. We all know, we all see it. All right, we'll bring you updates guaranteed, many will come.